So we've recently discussed that there's freedom in simplicity, but there's also beauty in chaos. So to begin with, I'm going to be using the Calypso Teal Ink Spray from Dilutions on a brand new page in my large circle art journal. Now, I don't normally use the Dilutions because I don't like their unpredictability and I don't like the way that they stain everything. Now this is the Fresh Lime Ink Spray as well and as you can see I'm having problems with the nozzle clogging so I have to go and sort that out and then I'll be back. So now I've unclogged it, it now works fine and I'm spraying that onto the page and as you can see the Calypso Teal has already um, sunk into the page, it's almost dried onto the page so putting the green over the top will allow that to reactivate again and that is one of the things with these ink sprays is that they do reactivate the minute they get wet so regardless of what you put on top um, it's very difficult to seal them and I know there is something called Spectrafix that does work for a lot of people um, but for me because of their unpredictability and because you can never guarantee that they're going to stay where you want them to then this is the reason why I don't use them very often. So as you can see I'm just mopping up a little bit of the excess ink and I can see it's still all over my desk so I've tried to heat it a little bit and now I'm going to mop up the excess ink off my page using a roll of kitchen towels and as you can see the kitchen towels are absorbing quite a lot. I'm just going to cover over some of the areas that I think have missed a little bit of the colour. So I'm just going to repeat the process again, just drop my kitchen roll over the top and just try and mop up some of that excess. Now I'm not bothered about the fact that there is a kind of um, pattern that's come from the kitchen towel and left that in the ink that just adds to the overall effect. The page is still quite damp so I'm going to just give it a heat blast just to dry it off before I move on to the next step. Now bearing in mind that these Dilutions inks are reactive with water again so I'm dropping this eye chart stencil over the top and with a baby wipe I'm just going to rub the baby wipe through the stencil and that will take off some of the ink from the apertures in the stencil leaving a kind of ghosted image behind. Now I didn't think there was enough coming off with the baby wipe so I decided just to spritz it slightly with a little bit of water just to try and reactivate a bit more of the colour and then rub it again with a piece of kitchen towel um, just to take up the excess and as you can see that's what happens. And because you can't control how much water is actually going to seep underneath that stencil this is a kind of chaotic process again with the inks you've got no idea where they're going to roll, where they're going to fall, where they're going to seep to and with the water you just never know exactly how it's going to look. So you are allowing um, the mediums that you're working with to kind of dictate how the page is going to finish up looking. So I'm going to repeat the process two or three times around the page, just randomly trying to remove some of that excess colour from the page from the background with that ghosting effect. So I'm now really happy with the way the page is starting to look so I'm getting quite a lot of ink coming back off from that stencil um, and through the stencil so 
I, I, I like the way it looks now. So I'm going to dry it off and then move on to the next step. And the next step is to add some more colour through another stencil. This time I'm going to be using the cargo stencil from Tim Holtz again. And this time I'm using the Crushed Grape Ink Spray again from Dilutions. And as you can see, I've masked off um, the rest of the page with a piece of paper and I'm only getting the ink through the stencil where I want it. And I'm just going to do this twice on my page. Okay, so I'm happy with the way that looks and now I'm just going to do a little bit of a cleanup exercise to try and remove as much of that crushed grape as I possibly can and as you can see the slightest bit of water and it moves it all over the place. It takes ages to clean up having, after using these dilution sprays which is another reason why I don't really use them that often. That and the fact as you can see my fingers are completely stained. And if you're wondering what my fingers look like, there you are. So because that ink is still a little bit wet, I'm going to just heat it, try and set it as much as I possibly can before I add my next colour. The next colour is going to be the Cherry Pie Dilutions Ink Spray. And I'm using the Pebble Heart uh, stencil from Dina Wakely Media. And as you can see, I'm just spraying through the stencil. I've masked off pretty much most of the page. I'm not bothered about a little bit of it getting onto the page, but I've masked off the majority of it. I'm just going to, using that kitchen towel, I'm just going to remove the excess. And as you can see, it is taking quite a lot off. And again, just to try and minimize the leakage or the color transfer as much as possible, I'm going to try and dry it off just a little bit before I move on to the next stage. So repeating the process that I did with the iChart stencil, I'm doing the same thing with the Pebble Heart stencil from Dina Wakely Media. So, but this time I'm only going to use the same size uh, part of the stencil. So I'm using that same heart, I'm just going to place it around the page and just try and remove some of the colour through that stencil in a couple of places. So I'm happy with that ghosting effect that I've achieved through that pebble stencil. So I'm just mopping up any excess water and then I'm just going to grab my heat gun and just set it before moving on to the next step. So to add even more chaos to the page, I'm going to take my white linen acrylic paint again from Dilutions. I'm trying to stick to the same mediums. I'm going to take my brush and take some of the white paint, put it onto my craft mat and then spray some water into it and then using my fantail brush, I'm going to flick and splatter some white paint across the page. Again, adding to the chaos, the splatters will go where they want to go. There is no control that you have pretty much about where these are going to land. You can control kind of by directing the the angle of where the splatters go, but where the actual droplets land is entirely a chaos thing. So I'm just adding the final splatters onto the page. Now the reason I've introduced white into the page now is that I'm going to be adding some white later on and I wanted some more in the background rather than just the, the lightness of the ghosted stencils. So adding the white splatters just gives you a little bit more of a grounding, um, introducing the colour before you add your main focals. So 
So now to add my main focal points, I'm going to take a craft sponge and the white dilutions paint again. And this time I'm going to be using the four women stencil from Dina Wake Media. And I'm just going to use one of the apertures. They're all the same, so you don't really need to use all four of them together. All I'm going to do is just use that top left hand one and just place it a couple of, you know, in two or three places around my page. Again, using the craft sponge on the page and using different amounts of pressure pushing the paint through the aperture of the stencil you're never 100% sure of exactly whether it's going to work perfectly or whether it's going to um, be patchy in places or whether it's lighter in places or darker in places so again you're leaving it to chance um, as much as you can control it sometimes you can't and that's okay so I'm happy with the placement of my three ladies, so I'm just going to dry those off before I go any further. So out comes the heat gun and just give it a quick blast. So we're on the final stretch now. So this is the Stabilo White Opaque Rollerball Pen from the Mitsubishi Pencil Co. And all I'm going to do is just to add some journaling in white around the outside of my page. So just handwriting some journaling around the outside and that says there's beauty hidden in chaos and I'm just going to do some white doodling just some squiggly lines around the outside of the page and then I'm going to repeat the same quote again at the opposite side of the page And once the journaling is done, I'm going to carry on that squiggly line and just join it up in the top right. And that's it. I'm going to call this page done. So all that is left for me to do is to sign and date it. And this page is complete. So sometimes it's okay to allow the mediums to do what they want in the creation of your art journal page. And sometimes it's great to start on a journey or start down a path without really knowing where it's going to lead you. So I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of this video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.